Hey everybody, Autobot John here. Um, just wanted to show you one of my latest works that I haven't shown uh, yet. This is my 1 6 scale custom Perseus Sam Worthington from the upcoming Wrath of the Titans. So, pretty much to describe everything on this figure. Um, the head is a custom uh, Marcus Wright head, and I took off all the hair and re-sculpted his new haircut from, or haircut, hairstyle from Clash of the Titans, uh, the, I mean Wrath of the Titans, uh, gave him his cuts and bruises, then I took uh, primer, repainted the entire head with primer, and then this is all repainted by me. Every part of it uh, went in and added the uh, the uh, all the facial hair and the cuts and the eyes. And I tried to get him as realistic looking as possible. Uh, I went with a little less gloss on the heads. Um, a lot of people are saying that I've been putting too much gloss on the heads. So I went with something a little different this time. And I think it came out really good. Um, the sword is uh, real metal. And the handle is wood with uh, um, foil wrapped around it to make the actual, um, uh, I don't know what they call it, the, the part of the handle, the, the circle part, um, it's uh, two dimes glued together uh, and then the sword is placed in between. So it's real metal. Um, and uh, I have to go back in and add all the details, and then I have to go in and uh, I'm gonna take some sculpty and sculpt in the designs on the sword. But uh, that's uh, this figure I'm, I've made is basically based off of the trailer, which the trailer shows a lot, but then again it doesn't. So I'm just going by what I saw. Um, bendy hands, uh, real uh, cloth wrapped around his hand to indicate where he gets hurt. I guess in the trailer he looks like he gets hurt. Real leather. Every part of the armor is real leather. I bought the leather uh, at the uh, art store. Um, pleather material. I don't know if it's real leather, but it's like a. It looks leather, and that's what I was going for. Um, he's got uh, all the designs that he had in the trailer with the armor. Um, it's really tough. It was hard to make this. It took me about four days to get the just the armor on because it kept wanting to come off. It, uh, the glue wasn't wanting to hold it, but it came on. Looks pretty good. Real chain wrapped around him. Uh, real leather parts on the uh, tunic and uh, the little skirt he wears. And then underneath he's got a black skirt that's made from some old Star Wars clothing I didn't need. Um, the boots are uh, very interesting. They're repainted Hasbro Va uh, Darth Vader boots. Vader uh, boots, they uh, have been painted brown. Leather straps have been added to them and then I used rubber bands for the uh, rope designs on them. And then these are actual shoes that I cut off the to make them look like sandals. Um, really uh, proud how that came out. Um, he has another weapon that stores in his back. It's just another little metal uh, sword. I'm, I like, uh, I make all my weapons now as many as I can out of real metal. I think they look better that way. Um, and then, of course, in the trailer, He's got a, uh, well, I don't know if it's a cape as much as a, uh, uh, I guess we can call it a cape, but it's a white cape, and it's been dirtied up and weathered, and it's cut at the ends of it, because um, he has this in the trailer, and as you can see, the armor goes all the way around him, so uh, I think he looks really good. He came out really good, and this is a custom that I don't know if Hot Toys plans on making or not. Now, they did make Perseus from Clash of the Titans, but I don't think Clash of the Titans got the rep that they wanted, so I don't know if they're going to make this one or not, but I really liked it when I saw the trailer, and I was like, it would make a pretty cool custom, so that's why I went with it. But I'm really proud of this one because everything on it 
is my work except for the head sculpt but the hair and the added parts of the face and the paint job is mine so it technically is my work um, but everything else on this figure is my I made everything so I'm very happy with how he came out the base is um, I'm using the Wolverine base and some more rocks I created um, and then, of course, there's his sword sheath right there. The sword fits right in there. Um, the only thing I'm not happy about, and I'm going to fix this, um, but I got some more projects that um, I'm trying to take care of before I can take care of this. Uh, the body is just a dragon body, and as you can see, it's a little too skinny. So I'm probably going to buy a true type body um, just because it looks a little more muscle bound and it'll look better for Perseus. But. Uh, yeah, he looks really good. I, I'm really happy how he came out. Um, the cape is attached underneath. You can remove the head, and the cape just ties in right here. But I have it underneath the armor like it is in the trailer because apparently he's going to lose it in the trail. In the trail, it looks like you see him without the cape, so I'm I'm guessing that it does come off. Um, but I kind of like it. It looks. Uh, but one thing I like about this design is the cape kind of resembles and it's a little reminiscent of the original Clash of the Titans movie because he did have like a cloth uh, uh, cape on in that movie so that's pretty cool. Um, but I hope this movie does good because I really did like the first one and I'm really hoping this one does good but even if it doesn't I'm just I like the design of the costume. And, you know, since Hot Toys seems to be busy with Batman right now and The Dark Knight Rises and uh, Predator, I don't think that they are planning on making the new Perseus from The Wrath of the Titans, and I think he would be an awesome one. So uh, here's trying to make one that they haven't made yet. Odell, I know I've said this before in my other videos, but thank you a lot for the camera. And as you can tell, it does make a whole lot of difference. I'm very happy with it. The pictures come out clear as hell. I can, you can see all the details in my work now. And uh, yeah, I'm just very happy with how it came out. Thanks a lot, bro. And I have something very special in the works for you. Um, I'll hit you up when I'm ready and uh, you're going to be very happy. But uh, anyway, guys, um, before I go, I just want to give you an update on Superman. Um, this is really more of a... Yeah, well, it's an update. Um, this, is, this part right here is dedicated to Sir Brad. Uh, Sir Brad, I did this. I tried my best, and I made the mannequin uh, as Christopher Reeve-like as I could. But like I said, since the mannequin is not tall enough, it uh, doesn't really... Uh, it don't fit very well, so um, what I'm going to do is I bought a new mannequin, and the mannequin I bought is 6'2", and it does have a head, but what I'm planning on doing is removing the head, leaving the neck, and then I'm going to place the Reeve bust on top of it, but the body is muscled too, but what I'm going to probably do is first I'm going to try to put the suit on the mannequin to see if it works, if it looks good, which it probably will because the it's the same size, so therefore it should work fine. But if it doesn't, what I'm planning on doing is taking some Sculpty, and I'll start padding out the mannequin. It's going to take me like four or five boxes probably, but I'll pad him out and I'll build Chris Reeves' statue. I'll, I'll build the body myself. I'm hoping it doesn't come to that, but uh, if it does, it does. Um, anyway, somebody keeps questioning me, and I won't name names, but they don't believe that. They're like, well, this isn't a real suit. You bought this at Super Fans, or this is a custom. This is not the real suit that one of the real prop suits that they made from the Superman movie. Um, well, let me show you. This is a flying suit, and this is not a fake suit, and I won't tell how much it costs, but it costs a lot. It's one of the, it is the most expensive item I own. So, uh, but here's to prove it. Go on Wikipedia, uh, Superman homepage, or any site that has pictures of the suit, and look for the flying suits. Um, they were darker colored because they were used up against the blue backgrounds uh, that they had him flying against. 
And the best way to tell is because in the cape design, because the harness had to go in it, you will find slots where the harness goes. And there they are. But the harness would actually go inside the cape to the back, and that's how they would post him for flying. But like I said, once I get this new mannequin, I'm hoping that it will look a lot better. And uh, honestly, I'm not going to get rid of this mannequin. So what I'm planning on doing is taking the reeve, this, this reeve, putting it on the better mannequin. And this mannequin right here would be a cool pose for Batman. Because I've actually seen a lot of pictures where he's got his arms crossed. So Michael Keaton will transfer to this one. And then this one... I'll probably reposition the arms and the hands a little bit and paint and make another hand mold and it'll be this. I will have my life-size Jackie Earl Haley Freddy Krueger to stand next to Robert England. Well, anyway, guys, leave me feedback. Let me know what you think. Shout out to Odell, to Cool Krueger, Autobot Tom, Sir Brad, Texas Kev, Darth Magnus, Beto Metalli, uh, Super Fan Saw Fanatic, Benjamin Drake, Red is Power, um, all my friends on YouTube and all my subscribers. Leave me feedback, guys. Let me know what you think. Later.